Hello, my friends and frenemies, it's I'm Excel. Once again, I'm not alone. I'm here by myself and I have a brand new video for you guys. So anyway, uh, a lot of people are a little bit confused and I feel like this video is going to help out a lot. This video is a day after the game's release, so if there's any new information that comes out and new gimmicks of leveling up faster, they will not be said, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same way throughout the whole game's lifespan of uh, tips and tricks of how to level up and how to become stronger. So first off, I would like to mention that this game has cards, and although the cards are powerful, you do not need them. What you want to do is go to the shop and then go into the items and buy yourself as many quest keys as you can. Forget gambling and doing the draws to see if you get anything good. Just focus on getting the quest keys because level is more important than cards in this game. Which is different than Union Cross when car uh, medals are more important. So be sure to get as many quest keys as you can. You can use 10 a day for this event. Luckily, if you play a lot of Union Cross, you're already going to have a lot of jewels, so you'll be able to uh, level up and stuff. So this is going to help you out a whole lot, so be sure to get as much as you can so that uh, even when it's the next day, you can just go back in. If you have to play some of Union Cross to actually uh, get some more jewels, then be sure to do that. So what you'll do after that is go to events and then go to the first top one. Um, this one is a quest keys event, and that's why you had to buy the keys. So then once you do this, all you have to do is just keep killing the Heartless, and you'll see that you're getting a trinormous amount of BP, which is uh, basically XP in this game. So essentially, you just want to keep killing them and keep doing this mission over and over. When you're doing this mission, uh, sometimes the uh, golden Heartless will appear. Once you kill a Golden Heartless, they give a lot more XP. It, they are pretty rare, sometimes you can get two in a row. But essentially, you just want to keep looping this mission over and over, and you will level up a tremendous amount. Once you get to a certain level, it does get harder to level up from this, and you have to do it like four times to level up, like me. However, when you're low level, like 10 or around like 12, it's really good to do this. And to be safe as well, just so you're also getting a lot of BP, it's also good to do your missions log. As you can see, for mine, I have a decent amount of it completed. Um, I actually have a whole page complete. But essentially, you just want to uh, tap on the screen on the awards, and it will tell you what you have to do in order to actually uh, get the award. So be sure to do that a lot and always buy quest keys and leveling once you hit around I would say 16 it gets really difficult because that's when the first um, episode ends. I will not spoil anything of the first episode but if you are playing for story uh, I definitely recommend this especially because this will make it so you can get to the story a lot faster and it will help out a lot. Also, another tip is a lot of people have this problem when they first play, but what you want to do is go to the world battle. If you go into the world battle, you're able to kill the Heartless and do the main uh, main missions that uh, is normally seen on the top right of the screen. You want to make sure you're doing this. I already beat the game of what it has so far, so it doesn't give me missions, so I'm not able to show this to you guys. But essentially you want to be able to uh, just keep killing the Heartless and do the task that it tells you on the missions to progress through the story. And sometimes it's going to tell you to kill 50 Heartless or it's going to tell you to kill uh, you know, a certain set of Heartless most of the time or get a certain set of uh, BP. So um, whenever you get BP missions, honestly just do this. It's the easiest way. And if you have Heartless missions, just go to the one star uh, world and just grind off of that. Um, I can also give advice for the two stars. For anyone who's trying the two stars and you're dying, that's because the two stars goes all the way to like level 20. So unless you're at least level 20 or higher, I do not recommend going two stars. Two stars on uh, Agrabra is level 20 and higher, so be careful when doing that. Cause they will kill you 
and uh, stuff like that. But other than that, you're also going to want to make sure that you have a good team depending on the situation you're in. The team hasn't helped me out that much drastically. I feel like the team member as of right now isn't really that big of a deal or difference. Mainly because we're also stuck with Ericus, and if we had two attack and protects, that would actually probably make things a little bit different. But essentially what Ericus does, as you can see, is attack boost. His attack boost makes it so that you do more damage. Um, the other guy, I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce names very well, is attack. So essentially he just does more attack damage and also attacks with you, which is, you know, helpful. Then we have protect. Protect is also helpful, it gives you defense, so if you're dying a lot, it is good to have that, because all of them heal as well. I'm not sure about Eric, because he hasn't healed me before, but everyone heals. Um, then you have Blizzard, she basically just uses magic and things like that, which is helpful when you're in uh, danger, I guess. It's, it's basically the same as attack, I don't know if it does any more damage, but depending on the enemy you're fighting, I'm pretty sure it's good to have her if they are more prone to uh, magic damage. And magic boost just increases the damage you do with magic. So yeah, that's basically it. I will probably make future videos on uh, this game as well. If you guys enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this as well. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. See you on the flip side!